talking about the Talon robot. This robot has been used in operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, and it's saved countless amounts of lives. It's the main tool that EOD techs use. It keeps us safe and keeps us away from possible IEDs. Uh, come over here. You can see this is the controller. This is what controls the robot. First, I'm going to go with how you set it up. I'm going to go into basic operations, and then I'm going to go with the shutdown and the preparation and storage of the robot. The first thing you're going to do is take these batteries, you're going to install one into the control box. Like such. You're going to install six into a cartridge. It's going to be just like this. Uh, this is what the robot looks like before you install the battery compartment. You have this cord that the battery compartment plugs into. For the sake of time, I've already installed it on this robot. So you're going to put the battery cartridge in here. And you're going to plug this cord in to the battery cartridge. It's really plug and play. You have an on and off switch right here in the rear of the robot. Turn it on and off. And once you install the batteries in both things, come over here and put the on switch. It's going to take a couple minutes to boot up. But once it turns on, you'll notice you have several cameras. You have a gripper camera, an upper gripper camera, a lower gripper camera. You have a mask camera. You have a rear mounted camera. So you can see 360 around you on this robot. Also, before you drive the robot, you can change the direction of the claw so you get a better angle on it. It's user preference, you know. No one size fits all. Uh, the robot also has to, you have to ensure that the diapers are secure. So the, the tracks don't get caught up on your, on the Velcro here. Which is what I refer to as the diaper. Alright. Come over here to the control panel. Before you drive it, you want to make sure everything's operational. So you have a lower arm, you want to check that to make sure it works. You have an upper arm, that's operational. You have a gripper, it opens, it closes. Obviously, you can drive it backwards, you can drive forwards. You have a mass camera, it goes left, right. The wrist rotates, that's good. You also have speeds, so kind of turn up the speeds to make sure that it drives a little faster, a little faster. And you have stow buttons. You want to check the operation of those and make sure that it'll stow properly. Now once it's all set up and ready to go, like I said before, this is the tool that we use to stay away from explosive devices to keep us safe, save our lives. So one thing you can do with this. Let's say that water bottle right there. You know, someone calls on that, they think it's an IED. We're a thousand feet away, drive the robot up to it. Ensure the robot is off 
and just like any good electronic piece of equipment, as awesome as it is, if it doesn't have batteries that are charged, you can't use it. So when you take the batteries out, make sure you place them on its proper charger. And again, there are batteries that work just like this, but could fry the electronics if you use the wrong battery. So ensure you're using the proper battery and the proper voltage. And that is the conclusion of the operations of the Talon robot. And again, this is the tool that saved countless amounts of lives. So if you ever find yourself in a position to drive one of these robots and you didn't know how, well now you do. Thank you very much. Thank you.